So one of the biggest PlayStation updates has been officially revealed by Sony themselves, and that is PS4 Update 5.0. Now what does this update do? Well I'm going to be explaining that in a moment, but if you don't know, the 5.0 update was leaked last week, so there's not really much that we don't already know. So what does this update add? Well it actually adds quite a lot of things, but let me go over it from top to bottom. So streaming, the PS4's built-in broadcasting streaming capabilities have been enhanced. Now PS4 Pro users will be able to stream in 1080p at 60 frames per second, of course if their connection is strong enough. And if you are a PSVR user, if you get any new messages or comments, you'll now be able to see them while broadcasting. The next thing that Sony updated is the PS4's friend list. So if you want to manage your friends list better on the PS4, you can do that now. For example, you will be able to create a list, and on that list you can have people that you played with on Destiny or Call of Duty or whatever, and you can send them an invite there. This feature replaces the favorite groups feature. The PlayStation 4's quick menu is being updated and it's going to have more options. For example, you'll be able to see new party invites while checking on like download progresses. And you can also leave a party from within that menu, and at the same time you can look at your Spotify playlist. That's of course just an example. Now something that I think they should have done from the beginning is notifications for watching films and TV. So if you're watching any sort of media, you can now disable messages that you can receive. So if you are watching any kind of media, you can disable messages or notifications. This means if you just want to relax and watch a movie, you can turn that off and you won't get notified if like your friend comes online or whatever. Or maybe if your friend invites you to chat. Or you can change how much of the message is displayed as well as its color, and the last thing that has been updated is parental controls. So the new feature family on PSN is going to replace the master slash sub account system. One user will be dubbed the family manager. Parents or guardians can now restrict child's accounts and their use of online features and communication with other players set restriction for games, set spending limits for PlayStation Store, restrict the use of the internet browser, and a couple other things. Sony also said that if you are a North American user and you want to set up an adult account, you will be charged 50 cents to verify that you're an adult, yeah. I mean, Sony, you could have had a better way to verify without having to charge people, but okay, if you want to go that route, you can. Now, there are a couple more updates that have been made which I will link in the description. Beta testers will be able to use this update today, but you may experience unexpected issues because you're using the beta. If you don't like it and you're a beta tester, you can downgrade to the current version of 4.73. As of right now, Sony hasn't come out and said when this update is going to release, but if you are a beta tester, you can invite other friends to, you know, test it out with you. So if you did find this interesting, please do share this video on social media. If you have any gaming news articles that you want me to talk about, please private message me on YouTube with a link to the article, and if you ask, you might get a shout out for it. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comments below, and see you.